Hey, this is Jeff, and this is the first in a series of videos about the 13-day Viking Expeditions Antarctic Explorer trip my wife and I just got back from aboard the Viking Octantis. It was an amazing trip. It was a once-in-a-lifetime experience, and we hope to be able to share some of this experience through these videos with those who are planning to take this trip in the future. This was the first full run of this trip by Viking after an initial shakedown cruise the week before that. We took the trip from January 23rd to February 4th of 2022, so we just got back a few days ago. And in this video series, I plan on covering our day-to-day -day experiences along with some of the tips we picked up that we learned the hard way that will maybe help out people who plan on taking this trip in the future. First, understand that your trip may vary from our trip, and that's because of both weather conditions that will determine where a ship is able to go on any given day, and also restrictions that are imposed on expedition ships in Antarctica about where and when they can go. And also the fact that this is just a different type of trip than a normal Viking trip. There are no fixed itinerary points on a day-to-day -day basis. You'll notice that on the website. Instead, you're going to go where the captain determines that it's best for a given day based on weather and the events that they pl have planned. And each day you're going to not show up in a port or dock somewhere. You're instead going to stop in a bay or an open water area where you will depart the ship either onto a rib boat or a special operations boat or hopefully onto a submarine. And that's how you'll be getting off the ship and exploring. So a little bit different than a normal Viking trip. You may also not go to all the places that we went to, and you may go to some places that we didn't go to. It's just all going to depend on those various factors that control where you go and when you go. So you'll certainly not go to the places that we went to in exactly the same order that we did. So just keep all that in mind. Also, we were traveling under COVID restrictions that were in place at the time, and that definitely affected some of the procedures and the events that we did, and we're going to try to address that in some of the future videos. Hopefully these restrictions will be going away soon because I think that will be helpful in making it a slightly more enjoyable trip. My wife and I are huge Viking cruise fans. This is our seventh Viking cruise. We did three river cruises, three ocean cruises, and now this expedition cruise. But I am going to tell it like it is, and we're not being compensated by a Viking for this, so we're just trying to share this for educational purposes. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments below, and I'll try to do my best to answer them. Really looking forward to this series, so subscribe below if you want to be notified when I post a new video. The next video will be day one of the trip, so looking forward to talking to you again then. Thanks.